<laughs> hey, Mark, how's it going? I'm good. How you doing? Good. Oh, I got to show you something. You're going to freak out. Are you ready to freak out? Well, I kind of have an idea because I saw it too. Okay, I got to share it. In the last 24 hours, 102 new listings. It's a lot. Let's tell the audience what areas, maybe click the link. Before we do that, you know, it's, we kind of want to give the audience, we saw this big list yesterday as well. Um, I'm kind of surprised it's that early, especially being a, you know, back to school week, Diane, right? Usually I like to wait a week or two after things get settled. People just trying to get the kids ready to go, but the listings came on hard and fast. And, you know, looking, we're going to go through some inventory levels where they are today and we're breaking down by some ranges. I think there's way too much product and sitting at some- Well, the stats haven't come out yet. No. Because if they did, I would include them, but we're going to have to do it later this week when they come out. But the thing that's surprising to me is um, the volume of, yeah, like on the very first day after- A long weekend. A long weekend, we yep. see this big barrage. And- the interest rate cut was announced today, another 0.25. Mm -hmm. So I'm interested in seeing what this fall market's going to do, Mark. Well, let's just see if that, I don't really, I, I don't think that's, you know, I'm glad that the, the, the Bank of Canada have cut. Is it going to drive people? I think people are, you know, maybe, but I don't think it's going to do a heck of a lot. I don't think so either. So, you know what I was thinking, and, and, you know, I purposely did not go through all these on my own so that we could actually take a look. So what I'm going to do is um, I, I, I'm going to sort it by uh, municipality here. Okay. So that we can, so there's 25 on a page. These are all Barry. And what blew me away. Um, can you do by price point too? change the price to a little bit lower to kind of go down? There we go. That's okay. The rentals, we will exclude those because that's a whole different conversation. Well, the problem here is, is if I do it by price, the community yeah. goes. Yeah, I see. Okay, sorry. That's okay. So these are all rentals. Right. Then we get into... So pull like up these that are one. condos, right? These are all condo, 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 condo. So we don't we don't get into houses until here, condo townhouse, and then um Bates Court. Now well, this one, one is probably brand new and this one is not a relist, I wouldn't think. Not the price. Let's just see if they're gonna be crazy and hold off offers because I don't think it's worth any more than six fifteen just looking at those pictures. Right? Nope. Twenty four, forty eight hour irrevocable. Four yeah. hours north showing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the price for that property. Yeah. And then we go into Tiny at 619, Horseshoe Valley, 619. This one on Napier Street, 6199. It's a cute little house, Mark. And you know what's funny? I drive by this all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh go into my son's. Mm -hmm. And it just got listed now. But they've done some cute stuff in here, eh? How many bedroom? Small. Well, it's kind of cut up kitchen, but it's older home. It shows well. Three what's bedrooms. The, what's the, what's the lot? The lot's beautiful. Fifty five by one forty six. Yeah. So it's two up, one down. Yeah, one Small. bath. But six nineteen. Uh, I think that like for a starter, I'm okay like with it. Detached, size but, is small. Yeah, and it's new. It's new. This one's surprising to me. This is a side by side duplex, six twenty nine. Yeah, no one wants them. <laughs> well, and half of it's half of it's tenanted. Right, There's and it was listed uh, a while ago, and they withheld offers, and they didn't get it. Last time we pulled up some, we did some, you know, again, with that amount of listings too, we got to count for 20% of the 
at least 20% of them being relisted properties. Everyone's going to refresh those properties, Dan, that, that have been sitting on the board for some time, show, hey, we're new for the fall market. As we did a termination video a couple of weeks ago, and that's what we found, a little over 20% if it's just relisted properties. So, but still, the, let's just, or the 103, you know, whatever, 80, I mean, 20 some are, are relisted. It's still a lot of inventory, 80 and above within the within Simple County. This is, yes, this is Willard in Innisfil, six, 649, three bedroom. Oh, no. Yeah, it was okay. Like in Innisfil for six forty nine, that's not three bad. bedroom. Yeah, it's not bad price. Maybe go to some higher ranges. Maybe go by bear. Okay, well, this is what's this is what's craziness to me. Okay, so here we go. So page three is fifty one to seventy five, and we start getting into the higher ranges. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And like, look at how many we have in the millions, Mark. Yeah, I know. Tons of product. Freaking tons. I'm tons. Lots of inventory. There's a lot of inventory, a lot of choice. Do you want to? Um... Well, look at and look at how high, like berry, 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 berry. Um, 1 1.2, 1 1.2, 1 1.299, 1329, 1 1.45, 1 I think this is, um, um, the one on Penetang, I think is a, is a triplex, but like Madeline drive and Barry 1369. I pull it up. Like that's just a crazy, that's just absolutely stupid. <laughs> I just can't say it anymore. Like that is never going to ever sell. Ever, and it's ever. not even that big, Mark. Not that big. I noticed the pictures right away when you open it up. I knew right away. That's probably 2,000 square feet. What I don't understand, I keep saying it all the time, is the pricing. The price. So I went to a, an appointment last week uh, with a gentleman, and he had some people in. And the first thing the agent did was not even finish basement. Oh, my God. Um, was here's, gave him a pile, gave him a bunch. Here's what's listed. What do you mean here's what's listed? Well, this is within your area. Why are we, again, why are we continuing showing sellers what's listed in the neighborhood? I know. It doesn't make sense to me. It makes zero, zero, zero sense. And Oh, my good golly. 60 so by 360 lot, three plus two bedrooms, 1.798. Isn't okay. this Ken's build? Oh, uh, I'm looking at. It, I was just going to say that. Yeah, I think it is one of his builds. It is. You're never getting that. Like I don't understand <laughs> the pricing. This is why the product isn't moving. Let's just be honest. Product isn't moving because it's not priced for for the market that we're in today. It's priced for the future market that we're going into at some point. We just don't know when. I mean, Who this cares? is nice, Mark. Who cares? It's a little, it's a lap pool. Like, it is his build for sure. It's not even near worth that. I'm going to continue to struggle with that. 1798. Yeah. Go to maybe, um, maybe pull, pull up Barry by, I want to see the listings, active listings. Total oh, okay. My range and show the audience where the range well, is. Well, I want to see one more. Like, look at this one on Kings Ridge and Kid and Shore Bungalow 899, two plus two bed, 900. Oh, another $900,000 oh. price, huh? Right? It's not a 900k purchase, it's not. It's probably less over 100 grand high. Look at it, it's dated. There's tons of work to be done in that property. Jeez. Louise. There's one for 712 and they're struggling, which I, I, I think it's a great deal for the neighborhood, right? This is never, it's a hundred grand. We're so what a big lot. Not everybody gets all excited about a big lot. It means work. Way a lot. Much. Okay. So why, why I wanted to look at that is okay. Now Wilson in this 899, exact same price.
any money they're holding off on offers because I think at eight ninety nine it's priced well. Oh, this is that's too cheap. That's right. Okay, let's see if they're withholding offers. Which means they'll get none. Nope. Um, it's priced right. Yep. It's priced I want right. to see something here. No finished basement, I believe, right? Nope. Now, yeah, let's look at some history. Nope. Out and it hasn't been listed before. Right price. That's a good price. Yep. It is. It is. So th this is what I'm saying. Like, not everybody's out of control. No, but a lot of the inventory is. When we're seeing 18 to 20% of the inventory turn in a month and, and the other 80% sitting, and we've gone through this gazillions of time, there's there's an issue. And it's pricing. It's pricing. Okay. 577 properties freehold. Can you write this down? Yeah. Because I got to add the condos, right? With this new system now. Go ahead. Okay, so now I'll do the condos. I want to go back to the product too. No yeah, I will. Just... I will. So people thinking of listing right now, really look at, the, this is a really good point in the video, what you should be looking at by your price ranges. 211, Mark. 788. It's pretty high. It's high. What That's what we the... were at last last time in July. Oh. Yeah, we're a little bit lower than that. I think it was in the sevens though. Yeah. I think, um, hold on. You want me to go back to active freeholds, right? Yeah. So this, and let's go simple, Barry. <laughs> Barry and we'll kind of show the audience and the price range. You know, let's go six to seven and down to see the inventory because it, and then we can flip to the spreadsheets and show them last months of what sold in that range. So it's really important for people to take a look at this if they're thinking of listing in the. Well, six I wish we had our stats because. But I want you to show. I want you to go by price range, though, right? We can't sort. We have so, too many listings. It won't allow me to sort by price. Yeah, but I'll go by price range, like say six hundred to seven hundred thousand. Oh, you want me to try that? Well, okay. I think it's important to go through the ranges and show and show the audience. You know what the inventory levels are, are are like by the ranges. We have 72. 72 in six to seven range. So that that's your townhouse, small detached property range. 72. Yeah. Um 700 with, to eight. Yeah. 123. That's a lot of that's a lot of product. It's a that's lot. A, at that price range. So that's yep. a very competitive price range. So in that seven to eight range, we're seeing a detached mainly. The odd townhouse in there. Eight yeah. to nine, 107. Again. All it actually time. went down from the seven to eight. Well, yeah. But that seven to eight was hot last month as well. Yeah. Nine to a million, only 82. Yeah. That's a million over. I bet there's 150. 171. 71. That's a lot of product. The shit ton. It is. So the pricing is critical. We've gone through a couple of listings to show the audience, you know, way out to lunch prices. Kings Ridge, 899. Not happening. Not happening. No. What's well, and look at just how many, like, you got people your choice. have a choice. Like, Capolino, a thicket wood, 1,049,99. Mark. Is this even detached? Yes, that's detached. Yes. It's a gong show kind of house, kind of. Well, it's not a gong show. You know, I, I always find these ones. It's nice inside. But I always find these ones where it fronts onto one street and you drive in another. Yeah. It seems a bit tougher of a sell, doesn't it? It does. It does. And then Capolino. Uh, this, so this is the exact same price. Doesn't Again, have that nine foot ceilings either. 2,500 square feet. Well, it might have nine foot, but it doesn't look like they're nine foot. Dated, colors are wrong. It's too pricey. It's too pricey for this market. And I know what's gonna happen, Diane, too, is that 
he, the, uh, the sellers are all clapping for this 25 basis points decrease. They're thinking that, oh, great, the buyers are all rushing back. We're going to leave our price there. You got to look at what's active in the listings. Take a look at what's sold in, in your in your area and make better decisions because the, the pricing is not where it needs to be. It's a lot. It's a ton. Well, uh, do you want to go to so maybe show the viewers? Oh, so this is the same the price, price almost coming drive, Mark. It's going to last it forever. It's a piece of crap. Well, you know what the problem with this one is all those stairs going up. People don't like that, eh? No. They've been still ah, kind of sell. All these pictures. For, for God awful. It was a rental one. It, it's good luck with that. Yeah. It's not, it's a, not... not a serious seller. So what did you want to see? Go to your spreadsheet maybe and show it because we kind of go, I think it's important to show the viewers the spreadsheet. Again, this is July because we don't have August numbers, but go by, again, the inventory and show See, the inventory, safe. Mark, I told you, 777, we we're at, we're actually up. Yeah, what was that, 780? Yeah. 788, 788. So, so again, and we're only, and we're only two days into the fall market, if you want to call it. Mm -hmm. I expect that to be in the mid eights in the next few weeks. That's a ton of product, right? Tons. Yeah. Tons. I, um, think, that's crazy I okay. think so too. It's not good. It's not good. So again, I'll have to get Dan to navigate with that many actives in July. And right now we're at seven. So the inventory is going to start to build for the fall market. And if the pricing isn't there, we're, we're very soft in sales year to date. Oh, yeah down 7.6 percent right with an increase of 34 percent listings so dan this this number is going to be maybe 35 time to get maybe let's 35 36 maybe right more than the 2023 and then yeah. then, then the transactions are down year to date 7.6 percent and in july there were 9.2 percent i think we're going to see very same kind of thing for august we're going to see very very flat this you know, number's a yeah, lot. you know what I'm going to try to look at, Mark? You know what? How come I can't do this? Oh, yeah. Um, If we had 780 and we had 777, you can almost figure out by the sales from last year yeah. how many sales happened this year. Because our inventory is basically the same. No, pretty much, pretty much. But I'd rather get the stats. But fill your boots. See what you want to do. Pull it up. So here's August of last year. So let's talk about that maybe. Wow. So what do you see? There was 192 sales last year. In August. In August and 565 actives. So hang on. So, okay. Keep that there. How many actives? Five, what? 565. I'm actually going to fill it in here in my spreadsheet. So actives, I said 565, right? Yep. So 29% more inventory. And the numbers might be skewed a little bit. That's that. The, so the inventory is increasing. We're only the second. We're only the second day. Still. Okay, but look, it was it was thirty six in June above, thirty four, and now we're twenty nine. So the inventory is actually, believe it or not. But look at it went up here too. Last year. Yeah. 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 Kind of normal, right? And the sales. What did I say the sales were? One hundred and ninety two. For for August uh, twenty twenty three. Yeah. Yep. So, so it's going to be interesting when we plug these numbers in, but I be. think, I bet you it's going to be close to the same. I, I agree. It's going to be, you know, we could finish a year off. It's, you know, 10% less transactions. I think the true test is coming in the new year to see, we'll have another rate cut by then. Um, we always see a, a rush of the herd in February, March, no, you know, minimal inventory in a sense. And feel that they're going to miss out so it's going to be interesting for, for you know the the pricing and maybe go down to the solds diane too for for july by category by range again the july numbers but i think to give the viewer an idea the inventories aren't going to trade that change that much over here 
Okay, so again, these these are July numbers, and we but look at how many actives. I'm not concerned about the five to six, but that's you know thirty five percent change. Our actives are, I think, our actives, and we were just checking actually went up here. Mm -hmm. But they did about it. But look at you know when, when we go to the million and over twenty four one hundred ninety nine. I think that comes a little bit lower. Well, actually, I think there was only one hundred and seventy seven, right? Yeah, yeah. So minimal, minimal, minimal of the properties are selling in those higher ranges. It's a fraction, 10%, 11%. That's not a big number. It's not. No. Use it as a guide, actives, but you got to, the hard work's got to come in and what's selling and looking at these ranges. And how many times are we seeing consistently terminations, terminations, and relist price changes in all ranges now? Yes. Because the inventory is building up in all those other ranges because well, it's not priced. So I'm I'm pricing one right now for Innisfil, Mark. And you know what I did? I just looked at the last 30 days sales. That's enough. You can't go back. Can't go back. I'm I'm taking the gentleman I through. We're going to price this, list this property in a couple of weeks. Let's go look at two in your area where we get some, you know, do I think that they're priced right? Yeah. Not really. I think they were kind of high. One was on the board 60 some days. One was just 10 or 12 days, but it's, it shows better than his property. But he, if he wants to turn it, he's going to have to list it properly. The price matters, right? Oh, and I'm not even looking so much at what's listed anymore. Yeah, you can't do it. You can't. Because they're all over the place and some are just stupid. Stupid, stupid. And, and so the people, so your, your seller can go to the one that's listed at $8.99 and I think it should be uh, you know, one just sold for 800, but he says, but yeah, but this one's 899 and it's better. You know, mine's better than that. Well, it's not sold though. <laughs> yeah, stop looking at these, these, these actives. Why yes, are eight, some eight? of these actives are out to lunch? Not some 80% of them are out to lunch. When we're seeing 18 to 20% of the inventory turn in a month, what's that telling you? We have a pricing problem in the community and it's just not Ontario. We have colleagues out west. They're saying the, the, these prices are stupid for where the yeah. market is. Yeah, where is it coming from? Unrealistic sellers, or I don't need to. Uh, I'll sell if I get my price. Sorry, I ain't wasting my time on that product. You know, or it make and agents that are desperate that are just taking anything because right the market's so flipping slow. Yep. The best advice to give to a motivated seller. When I say motivated, they're not they're not saying they're in bad shape financially. We want to sell whether it's an investment property, we want to move, price it for the market. Because you know what happens. You know, next year, if we see a couple more rate drops, we are going to see people come back into the market. We are, right? Yeah. We okay. are going to see prices go up a bit. You sell high, you buy high. You sell lower, you buy low. It all works out to be the same. You don't get sell high and buy low in the same community. You need to, you know, that has to happen in different smaller communities to do that, to downsize the purchase price well you know mark i was just on the call um with one of our youtube fans and um she i i explained that exactly to her i said like even in my own life i would rather sell lower and buy lower when the market's lower right now I, it's a great I, yeah. I don't want to wait i mean i might take a bit of a hit on my house but i'm buying at a lower time and i feel safer doing that because if you buy at a high time, you could you could get yourself in a position. Look at these guys that bought those ones on Phoenix and and that area where they bought those those semis for nine hundred, and they're stuck now. They're they can't sell them. They're stuck. They're stuck. That's the way it was. But it's hard to get deals done in the, right now because the the pricing is so unrealistic, right? You're seeing that. There's yeah. not a lot of there's not a lot of solds every day. No. There's, just, yeah, there's not a lot of activity on the market, right? <laughs> and I think there's some buyers that are sitting back going, I'd like to buy, but the pricing's just wrong, wrong so I'm going to wait a while and see if it comes down. And we've seen some stuff come down. Look at the terminations that we're seeing. Well, I want to look at the solds, Mark. Pull them up. Well, I'm not, I don't know. Hold on. Pull them up for so, August. So everybody, we get a, we get a, we get a, what do you call it? 
a hot sheet, but we could we can see solds over the last 30 days. And this is what I do when I'm trying to price something because going back three or four months is just silliness. Doesn't work. No. Can't. It's changing. 110. So we have 110. So how much? 110. Holy shit. Yeah, but that doesn't include the condos and this one does. No, it doesn't. So again, put it oh, in. Oh, we're now. down huge. It was 192. Now this isn't the stat stat. So yeah, no, yeah, we need to see the numbers, right? A bit more. But if we had 110 sales, again, you got some out in August too. We had 30 days. But looking at that number, transactions, what are we consistently seeing on a transactional base per month? Down 20, 30% down transactions. That's a big number. That's a number to get excited about. Why? Well, Mark, you know what else? Almost the first 50. Almost half are under seven. Yeah, there's a lot of product in lower ranges today. There's a ton. There's tons. Listen, I have to go to an appointment. So no just, problem. I think uh this is a good video to get people back on track with the pricing and and and, and ask your agent. Show 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 the numbers. Look at our numbers. Numbers don't lie. And ask Number. what's sold, Mark. Yeah, don't don't, don't tell me what's listed right now. Give me the thirty days, my neighborhood, what just sold. That's right. Because there's going to be something. Send it is. It's going to be something. It might not be totally comparable, but you can judge. Like if it's a four bedroom exactly. and you're a three. Yep. You can at least get a feel. You can get a feel for it. So, if folks want information on the Barry Real Estate Market, contact uh, myself or Diane, and. Follow for more information on the very simple real estate market. And hit the like or subscribe. Yeah, get updated. These I need only... more subscribers, Mark. You have yeah. more, more than right. me. <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, see you soon. See ya.